So we're gonna make a bay window. And we're gonna start out with just standard prime voxels and we're gonna build this four voxels in a row. And then I'm going to make a 13 voxel wide section here. 13 voxels, take my add tool and just add. And then I'm gonna come off the other side, same as I did on this side over here, and just stagger formation across. Okay, now we're gonna count this line as one, two, three, four, five. Grab this section all the way over, pull it out, do a control C to copy, control V to paste. We're gonna stack that, that pasted selection right over top of the existing one. I'm going to bring it all the way up to the very top one and paste. Then take your delete tool and clear out the ones in the center. We won't need those anymore. Use your selection tool again. Grab both of them. Pull it out. Control C. Control V. And we're going to paste this one right on top of the existing one. So we have three stacks just like this. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to start connecting this right here and this right here and then these corner pieces from here to here and here to here. This is going to be the basic basic uh, starting point for our bay window. The next thing we what we need to do is we're going to actually work on these angle pieces on the side. And for this, we're going to use standard voxels and or standard uh, micro voxels. So let's go ahead and create a micro voxel by holding down our shift key and clicking and then bring it up a prime voxel. Take our selection tool and grab that voxel. Take our smooth tool and we're going to hit this three times. Now with, a, with the selection tool we're going to do a control C to copy, control V to paste, and we're going to start right back here in the back and basically we're going to repl replace the existing voxels that we have here with these micro voxels each and every one of them we set up the design first just so we know exactly where our placement is going to be at and then we just go in and replace each and each of these voxels all the way across to get our framework going and you may have to uh, go back over something if it starts deforming way too much and that's basically what I had to do there and but as we go along you can actually see the actual shape of this this window kinda coming coming along pretty nicely and I can just keep clicking until I get all those voxels replaced Uh, he looks like a little insane drunken angel. Nicky, 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 n
Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I couldn't pronounce that name if I tried, man. Well, honestly. So now we actually have a framework kind of built up for our bay window. Now let's start actually putting in the the actual vertical bars or the yeah the the vertical bars up in here, and which should not be too hard to do. I'm going to do a copy of just this section. Copy, paste. Let's bring this up like this. And I'm going to select this one bar on this side. Control copy, control paste. And the idea here is to get this lined up with the existing. One, two, three. Hopefully I get this thing lined up. Let's try that. And I, as you can tell, I'm a little bit off here. So let's back up, control Z. Let's bring this up. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that should set up our main section for the window. Let's do a copy. Come back over. Paste. And we're going to replace what we already have there with this one. Paste. And that gets our cross sections in there. We're not going to really worry too much about the side pieces here or here. Um, if we added a little extra length to it, we'd probably put another bar in there, but because of the, um, the actual length of it here, it's not, uh, there's not enough space to actually put um, the extra bar right here in the center because there's only two voxels here and here that we could actually place it in um, vertically. If we went back one more voxel, we could actually put an extra vo uh, extra vertical uh, bar into it. Now, let's go back to our voxel we created earlier, which is right here at the back of my head. I'm going to select this, Control C to copy. And what I want to do here is I want to actually fill in this area back here, so it's a solid piece. So let's get in here and. Make sure that I am on where I need to be. I got a feel I'm way off. I am. We need to come back and up. There we go. Now we're on the inside. Takes a little playing with, but you can kind of get it in there um, eventually. <laughs> the idea here is to actually fill in this bottom piece <clears throat> as a solid. And it takes a little bit of repasting over a lot of your other voxels that you've already created. But once you get it down, you actually can fill it in fairly quickly once we get this uh, kind of set up. Go ahead and close this in and we'll just start working our way through just replacing voxels until we get our design back together. Takes a little bit of playing, but we can get it just with a little bit of work. Right. 
you just gotta just keep pounding it all the way down and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and fill all this in while I'm at it uh, just to kind of speed this up hopefully and then we'll come back um, for the edging and uh, clean up those merger points between it and the uh, vertical beams and uh, it should kick it off pretty quickly little tedious but a little bit of work and we can get it in there So we got the, uh, the bottom pretty much done. I still got one more to do and we'll be set to go on this. There we go. <clears throat> now I'll take my selection, grab this bottom piece all the way across, control C to copy, control V to paste. And let's raise this up after we've mirror set this thing up here. Let's do a shift click I'll click my mirror button, click the top point here, go back to my directional arrows and drag this up to the top. Up here and check. So there are our top sections uh, kind of filled in. Next I want to grab this back section and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it like so and I'm going to take my add tool and I'm basically going to follow the back side of that frame all the way around and this will be able to, to set it up to where it will actually uh, fit into the rest of our builds um, as standard voxels and it'll be easier to implement into the rest of uh, the build um, a little a little work but it will clear up pretty quickly once I get everything in here alright so now we're going to take our selection tool and just grab this back side just that one voxel thickness don't worry about what we pasted down. It was there mainly as a template to, to get the sizing correct. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. And we're going to drop this down exactly where it belongs on the back side. Like so. And it looks like it kind of threw off one of our voxels on each side and possibly down here. Actually, that looks pretty good down there. And looks okay right there so we just got to replace this one uh, voxel connection there and we should be pretty good so let's grab our selection tool control C to copy control V to paste let's get this in here I kind of threw my one little voxel off there let's go back over here selection tool let's grab this whole section and see if we can replace it to fix that it looks like it did pretty good kind of clean cleaning up this this triangular shape is what I'm doing right now so I'm selecting the whole side and using my add tool to clean it up all right so our bay window is almost done 
Now, you can get a little bit more fancy if you've got the time. Um, you can actually come in here and form like a um, like a louver or an angle up here at the very top to kind of like mold it in. Um, you can also, down here at the bottom, you can probably set up like a plant tray of some sort. So you can literally have um, uh, plants um, coming out over here. And let's select this whole thing here. We'll take our paint tool. Let's grab some wood. Let's go with burled. We'll paint that. And let's go ahead and select this other section here and let's use plain wood for the next piece bundle plank horizontal click paint click and then we can actually go in here and take um, glass as a prop which you can create using sand in your tinkers workshop Let's click, uh, shift click, and let's go ahead and maneuver this into position right there where our framework is. Let's bring this up, over, take our expand tool here. I might have to rotate this vertically. Let's just go ahead and shrink it down. It may take quite a few pieces of glass to get this all in here together. Um, but for this purpose, um, I'm not going to fill in the whole thing. But I'm going to kind of leave that to you on how to get this all filled in and what sizes of glass to actually use. But the, the framework was the um, kind of the important thing I wanted to kind of go over you can take your glass and actually sit it in there and basically just stack it stack it stack it stack it just line up your glass um, like literally right beside each other like this and fill the whole th entire thing in <clears throat> but a simple easy bay window